Hey guys, how are you? I filmed this video right around the time when the war started. I thought it was a good idea to visit the best grocery supermarket in town called Giperbola. I think it's gonna be a fun video and you'll get a chance to see what life in Russia was like when things were normal. So let's hey. begin. Well, in this video we're gonna be doing some grocery shopping and I wanted to show you what we do normally for grocery shopping. So uh, this is one of my favorite stores in Yekaterinburg. And the way we do it is we make two major trips a month. So like every two weeks, we're replenishing all the products that we need. And today's the day. So let's get going. Uh, there are different sections in the store. And I think we should start with produce section. These are so stiff and firm. I love simple things and apple is my favorite fruit because I think it gives you a lot of vitamin C and it tastes great. So if I had to live with one fruit, that would be apple. Some cucumbers. Lettuce. Staruza. Kabachkim. Okay. It came to 320. Ever since we took a trip to Greece, we fell in love with the Greek salad. And we try to cook it at home. And we already got some tomatoes, some cucumbers, and lettuce. But now we need some feta cheese and we need some olives. You guys curious to know how much is a pineapple is in Russia? So this one is. Uh, 500 rubles or yellow. Let it be yellow. Okay, we're in the dairy section. Right, let's get some beer. 108 rubles. Matter of fact, I'm going to get this kefir instead of that because this one's local. It's from Talitsa, which is Sverdlovsk region. Get some cottage cheese. There's a good choice of bread. My personal favorites are Italian bread, like you know ciabatta and uh, you know the long thing. What do you call it? Baguette, French baguette. French baguette. So this one's uh, ciabatta with sunflower seeds. It's 81 rubles, over a dollar. After bakery section, we're going to cake section and just desserts, different desserts. Len has a big sweet tooth. I'm not. I, I only like chocolate and I like bitter chocolate. So that's what I'm gonna get. This is a honey section. This is all Turkish delight. like your standard bread, right? It's 28 rubles. Now remember the one that I got is 81, so it's three times more expensive. Oh, this one's uh, your typical American sandwich bread, you know. We have it too, uh, 66 rubles, less than a dollar. So I prefer bitter chocolate. And you know, Lynn, it's pretty good. You know, 78% cocoa, I like that. But see, the price is, man, not really good, 199. I remember a time when I was buying it for like 70. So what, it doubled? Yeah. Let's take a look at some local candies. This is from Yekaterinburg. Also, we have a lot more local candies. Come over here, Lana. Oh, I love the picture, you know, the Church of the Blood. There it is. All the famous sites of the city. Oh, let's get some green tea, right? Just standard green tea called Flying Dragon, 82 rubles. This is a coffee section, and you know, coffee of course is becoming more and more popular in the world. It used to be in the Soviet days that people only drank instant coffee. We still have a lot of instant coffee because a lot of Russians are still drinking it. I personally try to cut down on my coffee consumption because it messes up your sleep, sleeping habits, you know? Different pies, freshly baked. Let's ask for fish pies. Okay. Скажите, пожалуйста, вот этот пирог с семгой и с горбушей его можно отрезать? Да. А, можно мне? Ну, наверное, ты хочешь вот здесь. Вкусный? Да, вкусный. Okay. 
пожалуйста. Okay. Спасибо. Спасибо большое. Different pies. Bacon? Yeah, absolutely. Let's get some bacon. Meat delicacies. Let's go get some meat. So many. Now it's time to get some frozen products. And you know, Russians love pelmeni. We prefer this brand. They're handmade and they taste really good. It's a very simple product, you know, but it saves you when you have nothing to eat at home. You just start boiling this. It takes eight minutes and you got a delicious meal. And here we have some seafood. Uh, this is a crab from the far east of Russia. And you know, pretty pricey. 3,780 rubles per kilogram. So this particular, this particular crab came to 6,373 rubles. Here you have some shrimps. And other seafood. This is a section like for healthy food, alternative milk, uh, gluten-free and something like this. People who try to eat healthy food. Soy milk, coconut milk. Most Russians cook using sunflower oil or olive oil. Do we need oil? Yes. Oh, we do. Which one do you prefer? This one. This one? Yes. Okay, that'll work. Elena, just coconut oil. And I know when Kyle was here, he said that a lot of Americans are cooking on coconut oil, which is strange for us because we normally use sunflower oil and olive oil. What do you guys use? Fish section. Let's do that. Did you get You can buy some frozen fish also. It's a lot cheaper. Mm -hmm. How much did you pay for that uh, salmon steak? Uh, it cost almost 700 rubles. Okay. You find a lot of smoked fish. And from fish section, I also took frozen cod. I love it. All right. Frozen cod it is. How much is it? Special price. Uh, here we have some beef, some ribeye steaks. That's what it looks like. All right, so it's $8.99 per kilogram, so. Chicken drumsticks. And I love the name of this <laughs> type of meat. It's so funny. Okie dokie. In this grocery shop, it's really, really convenient that you already have boiled uh, vegetables and vegetable kit for your soap, for borscht, something like this. Oh yeah, it's really pretty convenient. good top sirloin steak all this is made in Russia in Voronezhskaya and Kalushskaya Oblast the regions so you got top sirloin steak New York steak and all these other steaks For one steak is uh, 700 rubles so these are cutlets or meat patties we call them in Russian котлеты beef steaks is говядины beef, beef steak from beef or from beef uh, yeah, this is a uh, stuffed cabbage. Russians love shish kebab, especially in the summer. And so here you can buy nicely chopped pieces of meat, pre-marinated. So all you have to do is put them on a skewer and then cook them. So it's very, very convenient. No. When you see the sign, it says Nasha Prezostva, it means it's uh, it's local. Another very popular dish that came from the from like Uzbekistan is pilau. So it's rice with um, chicken and a lot of spices. Tastes really good, I really like it. Ever since Russians started taking their vacations in Thailand, Tom Yam has become a, one of the favorite soups in Russia. Tom Yam with chicken, 169. 
Oh, Fobo. Fobo is a Vietnamese beef soup. I love it. 245. How are you? Oh. Welcome to Giperbola. Thank you. Yeah. You speak English, French? I, I, I speak English. Yeah, me too. Very good. Where are you from? I'm from Tunisia. Tunisia? Yeah. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Working as a chef? Yeah, yeah. I have uh, 12 years to working to Ekaterinburg. I love wow, Ekaterinburg. 12 years. Yeah. I love Ekaterinburg. Very nice. Uh, I have everything okay here. Giperbola the same. Yeah. Some exclusive magazine. Ekaterinburg. Very nice. tasty, very clean. Uh, product uh, very fresh, natural. Oh, yeah. What are you cooking now? Now I'm cooking this, uh, spaghetti Thailandese. Thai ski. Thai ski spaghetti. In Italy, there is spaghetti. We have pasta spaghetti. Thailand, there is soba, udon. Разные. Другой, да. другой лапша, лапша по-русски. Да. Вот У нас три вида. Один здесь, биф здесь. Mm -hmm. Самый дорогой мясо здесь. Филе. Да. Это филе. Филе. Филе, да. есть. Mm -hmm. Розбит. Там пепперони, морковка. Пепперони, карат. Там у нас рыба жареная на хоспер, это хоспер. This is it's from Spain. Okay. Yeah, it's working in open. Ooh. Yeah. Professional. What are you cooking it? Uh, fish, mess, what our fish? Oh, show me the fish. Dorado. Ooh, dorada. Dorada, da. Looks good. Yeah. I think we should get one. You want to take one? Yes. Where did you come from? I'm local. I'm from here. Oh, Urals. Yeah. Yeah, nice, to meet you. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. My name is Ahmed. Flower. Okay, thank you. You're welcome, Madam. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Pizza and Japanese. Uh, fish rolls have become almost like part of the Russian cuisine, you know, sushi and rolls. Wow! So who's duck? Duck, yeah. Canach, le canach, le canach, le canach, Francuski. Arabski albata. I go to the Arabski. I don't speak. I don't speak. I don't speak. Yeah. Bata. 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 Это утка. Bata. Утка. Заливное, also known as hola dets. What, what a lot of foreigners can't stand. A really Russian section. It's a, a few barrels of sauerkraut and pickles. Let's get some crap sauerkraut. Love it. Ooh. Now let's get some pickles. Ah, okay, malasolny i podomashnimu. Bauchu malasolny. malasolny. Okay. These are. Malasolni pickles. And what else? Salad Olivier. Famous Russo Salato, Russian salad, Olivier. Pancakes. Masadia. <laughs> Винчики готовите? Да. Пэнкейкс. А это пельмени, да, у вас только что сваренные? Скажите, какие продукты самые популярные и в вашем отделе? Все популярное мясо, если честно. Все популярное? Да, и мясные блюда, рыбные блюда. Ты, шишки бабс. Let's get a berry drink. Yeah, uh, we have klukvini. Okay, cranberry. Cranberry. Cranberry drink. Or ablipika. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Which one? I prefer cranberry. Okay. Let's do it. Oh. Wow, Slava, great deal. 
they have special price for sparkling wine. It's a martini. It used to be 1,800 1, rubles. Now it's 1,000 rubles. Wow. Deal. Almost half the price. Now let's try to find some American beer. I'll see if we can do that. Is Budweiser American? Oh, it's Czech. Okay, my bad. I saw American beer. Which one? This one. Oh, Corona? But Corona is Mexican. Oh. Pretty close. I think Bud is American. Let me check. Okay. Speak six back of Corona. Since we got some beer, you can have some chips, some dried fish. Mm-hmm. Okay. Lays. Like a okay. coffee station, it's like Wawa. Yeah. It's like Wawa it's in thing. Philadelphia. It, it doesn't used to be. Do you want to grab a coffee? I would love some Americano. All right. I think it's the best grocery store we have. I think so. I think so too. Grocery shopping became a really pleasant experience. I love it. And here comes the worst part. Now we gotta pay for all of this. Can you imagine? We gotta learn to maneuver. Can't drive it. Lana, what's your guess how much it came to? I think about 8,000 rubles. Okay, I'll say about 11. Здравствуйте, ага, пакетики, пожалуйста, да. Один? Большой а, и три, надо, да? Нет, три, конечно. Три больших. Lana's pretty good at this. I let her do that. Ah, you were right. Lana has a special mm -hmm. discount. Ooh, you saved 400 rubles. Okay. And our shopping spree is done. Time to go home. Let's go. Now we have to go to the parking lot. Thanks for watching guys. This video had been sitting for a while. I just didn't feel like it was the right time to post it. Now it's more of a historic footage of a distant time when Russia was normal. Hope you guys enjoyed it and we are praying for peace. Take care. See you in my next video. Bye-bye. All right, I think shopping is done and we're, we're gonna be good for the next one or two weeks. And of course, for things like eggs and milk and you know, little things, we go to our ne uh, next door store to kind of replenish. There are two exits on this street and that street. We're going to Vajera? Let's go. Really? Run one? Well. Okay. A golden Porsche. Mm -hmm. He said first three hours is free. Oh, contact the cashier. God damn.